What's up guys, Steve here. I know you guys love seeing these huge collections and stuff like that and all the stuff that I got going on and stuff that I send away and maybe what's like really mint from it. So I have pulled everything together from the collection that I am planning on grading. I will probably send this all in one big grading submission because it would be kind of cool to like get it all back at once and then to see kind of like how I did with the collection sort of thing. So I'm just going to show you every single card I will be grading from the collection because that's pretty exciting. And then eventually when the submission comes back, you know, I'll link it to the videos and everything will be linked together. And that'd be a cool moment, I guess, for everyone. Well, mainly just me, but I guess everyone else who cares to watch, because yeah. I went through the binders and I did find like a little bit of EX battle boost and there was like three or four reverses. And I saw this awesome reverse hollow Gyarados EX battle boost. And it is in amazing condition, as you can see. So I'm super duper happy with this. I mean, not every day you get battle boost reverses. They're not even guaranteed one per pack. So a lot of people kind of think like the every pack is like one guaranteed reverse, but in Battle Boost, for whatever reason, they just like it's either like an EX card, a holo, or a reverse. And so that, that's just wild to me. So sometimes even in like 10 packs, you might only get like three or four reverses. So yeah. So we've got this Umbreon here. And a lot of these I did show off. So like Gengar level X, and they're not all like perfectly gem, but a lot of cards that are expensive or more desirable, I do like to grade. So Gyarados, I did show off most of these, but I ended up opening the Jolteon and Ninetales deck. And then there are a few cards here from like random sets and like CP6 stuff that I decided to grade. Two Yen Megas, the only primes that were like any good condition. Got this cool looking Glaceon level X. It's actually in much worse condition than I thought. Oh, I, do I double checked all these and I still missed stuff. That's, that's just how it is. I got these cool Trainer Hollows. So Sightseer and Lily, I think these are great. You know, they did spike up pretty crazy in price, but now they're now they're down pretty pretty back to normal. So I got this nice hyper rares. I like these. Gold Tapu Fini. And not all these cards are like home run cards. Most of it's just like $30 profit, $50 profit if you do get the 10. And that's kind of what I like to aim for. Like $20 to $50 profit, I'm perfectly happy with. I don't need to only grade like the home run cards. I'm very happy to do like the a lot more work that involves like all these smaller cards and that's fine with me. I got plenty of time and I really enjoy this stuff. So, you know, if you get to the point where you can actually enjoy buying and selling, you you can build quite a big base of, how do I want to say this? You can build like a huge kind of inventory slash collection because you're happy to like sell and participate in everything, not just expensive items, not just like the best of the best, not the most recent modern cards. You can kind of build everything. You got a little bit of like Pikachu promos, you got some other cool promos from like Diamond and Pearl, you got some reverse hollows, some like prize promos, yeah, you got some old back stuff, you know, you don't have to just do like ultra modern, you can actually pick up this other stuff and kind of enjoy it, kind of like what I like to do, I don't, the ultra modern stuff is easy, don't get me wrong, <laughs> it's, it's easy, it's quick, it's seamless, you can just sell hundreds of the same card, but it loses its fun after a while, after you sell the same card a hundred times, you kind of want to you kind of want to get some of these stuff. Like, I mean, a beautiful Neo Espeon with a nice swirl is, like, irreplaceable in my eyes. So we've got some cool, dark Team Rocket cards here. I always love this Himeno Magikarp. Some more Team Rocket Hollows. Let me see. Some more old back stuff. I'm not going to show every card, but... Yeah, I'm pretty happy. This is a base set Charizard. I'm expecting maybe an 8 because it is pretty bad. Yeah. It's not too good. Not too good on the centering. I guess the condition of it's amazing, but look at that centering. That's terrible, but... Is there chocolate on my fingers? I don't know. I had an ice cream before this. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I swear to God. <coughs> oh, my God. I'm dying now. Oh, no. Okay. Grand Party, great card. It was not in that good condition. It did have a bend. Oh, I'm going crazy with these. Grading a Wally. Full Arts. Oh, man, I love these. Oh, yeah. And obviously, like I say, like, you know, you should try and grab the old stuff, stuff like that. It's kind of stupid to say because I did spend a lot of money on this and obviously not everyone can afford to just spend crazy amounts of money on a huge different range of stuff. So obviously buy what you like, but try and buy some things you not, might not think you like and then actually look at them, hold them, kind of see how rare they are, look them up a little bit, gain some information on some cards. And you might actually find that you like, like this Jirachi. I love this Jirachi. I have one of these in my own collection. I have a best of XY reverse holo in my collection and a 10. I'm happy. This is actually an unlimited version. So if this does get a 10, I will probably add this Jirachi in my collection. And, you know, stuff like this, like a basic XY holo. It has amazing artwork. It's great. I mean, I'll show it again. Like, look at this. This is so good. 
you know, I think it's Sano Sukama or something. I don't know how to say that, but yeah, it does great artwork. It's really good. You can find things, these like break energies, these are so nice. Like full art textured gold secret energy cards with like text on them. Pokemon card game XY break. It's just looks so good. Unfortunately, they only made grass and dark, but I think this dark energy in like gem min or mint condition would fit most collections, to be honest. That's a nice looking card. So we got some black and white stuff. Some Pikachu promos. Pretty, always happy to have those. Cobalt. Oh, man, look at this texture. It's so good. Tyranitar EX. And a few more battle boost stuff. So this is both dragon type, right? But the one on the left is a reverse. You see the light reflecting? See the difference? It's so hard to tell, but yeah. So this is a reverse Alteria. So this was one of the four. So yeah, these are the other EX Battle Boost reverses we have. They probably opened a box of Battle Boost and they only got four reverses, which is kind of crazy. That's EX Battle Boost when I'm saying that too, because it's a few, there's a few sets named Battle Boost. I am sending all these cards out to grade as well. It's not just, I'm just showing them off. They will all be going in the same submission, most likely. Awesome texture on the Rizion. I'll probably double check them one more time. Just because, you know, I obviously missed the damage on that other card. I don't even know where that card is anymore. I probably made it way back into the stacks. It's got some Pikachus, Electabuzz, you know, the expansion pack set that was like half done. It seems like they opened up an expansion pack booster box. And they just put whatever cards they got in there. This Lily is damaged. I'm still going to grade it and just keep it. It'll be like a PSA 4. Really nice Zapdos from XY. XY6? Yeah. Love this dragon here. This is such a nice artwork. Who's that by? Mizu. Mizu. Oh, she is such a good artist. It is honestly mind blowing. And these are some of the more popular characters from Battle Boost I pulled out from the binder. So you've got Charizard, Charmander, Charmeleon. I mean, they don't sell for that much in, you know, 10. I think like around 100 Australian, most 10 sell for. Some a little bit less. Some don't even sell for that. But like I said, all in for grading for me usually is around 25, 26 Australian dollars. So, you know, in my head, I'm thinking, okay, these cards don't cost that much because it's part of the collection, like a greater part. So even if I can get like 30 or $40 profit after all fees and it takes a while to sell, that's really good for me personally. And I can go much lower on the margin too. I can go all the way down to zero and just be happy. The fact that I just like was able to sell something and someone else gets to add something to their collection. But that's where I'm at as a store. So this Waku Waku Battle Box Pikachu promos, these are all so cool because they have the coolest foil I've seen in a while. So I love this Pikachu card. And then there, I did see a binder. I didn't show it on the video, but did I? I don't even know. Did I show it on the video? A bunch of shiny collection. Just a huge amount of shiny collection. Not really a huge amount. It was just a complete set with no full arts. So I was pretty happy just to find those and then I picked through all the good ones and yeah we got a Pikachu actually today PSA sent me some grades and I got a shiny collection Pikachu on a 10 so I'm really happy to have that it's a nice card to have and that's it just these last two old back hollows I went through a little bit more after the video you know I spent some time spent the whole day cleaning up everything taking everything to the to the to the trash and dealing with all that so I don't really know how many cards that I'm going to grade from the collection but in case you're wondering I'm doing some quick math right now so we've got a stack of 25 card savers, and I'll just kind of stack the other ones next to it. You can click off the video already, dislike, whatever. But the, the, we've already finished the video, but this is just for the people that love the numbers part and like to stay all the way, because numbers are important. Oh, that Shiny Tyranitar is really nice. It will be a, like, probably a PSA 5, PSA 6, maybe, because it does have a little bit wrong with it, but... Hey, man, that's great. It's still a few hundred dollars right there. Maybe more. Maybe like 500 or something. Tyranitar is quite expensive to get. So we've got about eight stacks here of 25. That would make it around 150. I think there's probably give or take like 165 cards here to grade. And if you think about it, 25 per card, 165. Carry the two, carry the three. That puts me at around, I don't even know. That's like 4,125 Four one two five four thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars. I think that's right. That might not be right though. I might have messed up that math really badly in my head thinking of something else. But yeah, man, four thousand dollars to grade all the cards. The collection did cost like a decent amount. Don't get me wrong, but like when you can kind of put card grading into your like thing, and card grading still to me brings way too much of a value boost, and it probably will 
go down in the future of like the amount of boost you get from grading but that that's a topic for a whole nother day but at the moment it gives a crazy boost to grading so there's no reason not to grade anything that's not gradable or in almost 10 condition kind of cutting yourself short if you aren't doing it but doesn't mean you have to grade everything especially don't grade everything if you don't plan on selling it i think grading to sell is really great grading to keep for yourself maybe one in every like 20 cards you don't want to get too caught up because it costs a lot of money and you're just like grading for no reason but that's topic for another day that's not for this video <laughs> oh man but yeah so all up i do think once all these cards do get graded the price of them all graded i'll do a full price count in the video when they come back in about three months time but I do think the price of all these will be very close to the amount I paid for everything. If we get lucky. If I get lucky. And that means everything that I showed in that big video will be like free. Free, I guess. That'll be the juice of the of the collection. And I'll sell that as singles, $1 to $10 cards over time. And this stuff, I'll just be like kind of try and sell it a little bit faster maybe. Just to get my big bulk of the money back. This is, this is what I used to do anyway. I mean, these days it's not that much important to me like sell things really fast but yeah you're trying to sell this stuff as fast as possible the good stuff just so you can get all your money back and go buy another thing very similar and they don't come up all the time and guaranteed lots aren't that easy but yeah i hope i hope uh, a little bit of this detailed analysis helps you guys if you're more of like a beginner seller or something or you wonder why someone like me would buy such a big random collection because they can if you have a little bit of knowledge and because i always preach about like buy what you like buy the stuff you enjoy engage in what you like and then like get knowledge in the stuff you like like i a lot of the stuff in that collection i had knowledge of of how much it actually sells for how much it sells for raw played graded everything because i'm always engaging in that stuff and that means i can take more calculated gambles i guess calculated risks for buying big lots of that stuff to know okay is this easy to sell is it not easy to sell etc i'm trying to open the sealed promo pack right now and i got is that crab dominable? He's so funny. That's such a funny card. There you go. <laughs> Finish off with that. I'll open all these in another time. But I think it... Oh, maybe oh, maybe I'll do this one real quick. It's really hard to open without scissors. And I don't know where the scissors are. So I don't know why they make them like this. Because I'm sure the kids, like... When they get these, they just absolutely destroy them. What do we got here? Oh, a, a Jewot, I think. C dot, maybe? Jewot? I don't know. All right, that's it from me. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoy the videos.